Hi, um, Laura. Um, I'm going to present a paper co-authored with Cesar Mantilla and Darwin Cortez. Um, basically, in this paper, we study the workers' preference for autonomy using a procedural experiment. Um, so, uh, the motivation of this paper is related to procedural utility concept that basically uh, states that people are not only interested in outcomes, but that they also value procedures. Uh, and for example, in the labor market, um, workers uh, also take into account other characteristics and benefits besides income. And this, uh, this fact uh, uh, might be useful uh, for explaining uh, self-employment decisions. And uh, in this regard, some studies have found that um, self-employed people report higher job satisfaction or happiness. And in some of these studies, these results seem to be associated with the work conditions, including autonomy, um, being part of the decision making. So um, in this paper, uh, we conduct uh, an experiment uh, that emulates a couple's work environment where two tasks are assigned uh, within, within team members. So we focus on how people respond uh, to different task assignment mechanisms uh, when they do or don't do what they like the most. And we, do, we did an experiment uh, because it allowed us to measure productivity and to measure willingness to pay, and also it allowed us to measure how this response uh, change depending on uh, the labor status of, of the participants. So in this experiment, we have three different samples, uh, students, self-employed people, and employees. So, so far, uh, from experimental economics, we know that self-employed people uh, are less risk averse, and we also know that they are willing to pay more to play or make deci decisions on their own. So, uh, our contribution is to uh, evaluate one possible mechanism uh, that basically is autonomy, and we also add productivity to, to our analysis. So, um, in our experimental design, uh, we have two encryption tasks, uh, really similar to the one of Ferley, and each team member does one of these um, uh, tasks. So, something that, that is, it is not in the slide, but it's important, is that the payoff uh, that receives each um, participant depends only of uh, their own performance. So uh, we have two dimensions of analysis. The first one that uh, is our treatment in some way uh, is the way uh, the task that each uh, member gonna do uh, is decided. So ba basically we call that the assignment mechanism. So we have three ways to reach uh, that, that task. The first one is random, so basically it means that the computer, the computer is uh, deciding who uh, it's gonna do which uh, task. And these are our, our controls. And the second one uh, uh, is the people that have autonomy. So we, we call uh, this assignment mechanism by choice, basically because they, they can uh, decide the task they want to do, and also they decide uh, the task the other member uh, have to do. And our uh, third mechanism is uh, imposed, and basically uh, th these are the participants that uh, don't have to take any decision, and they just have to abide the other member's decision. And our uh, second dimension of analysis uh, is the uh, assignment, uh, the result of the assignment. So there are 
two uh, uh, possible results. The first one is that participants uh, do their favorite task, and the second one is that participants uh, do a non-preferred task. So with this in mind, uh, we have, um, we measure the impact of these uh, dimensions on two outcomes. And the first outcome uh, is the performance um, in the second stage uh, that basically is uh, the number of words that they encrypt in, uh, in, in two minutes. Um, and, they, and this, this figure uh, shows the cumulative distribution of this performance. And uh, the most important um, message of this figure uh, is for uh, those uh, people in the imposed mechanism. Because as you can see, uh, there is a bigger gap between doing the preferred task and the non-preferred task. And this, result, this, this gap uh, doesn't exist in, in these two uh, treatments. And, and this gap basically what, uh, means that those who did their preferred task are uh, the ones that perform better. So we have another outcome that is uh, the take up of a random feed that we offer participant, uh, to participants uh, to, to pay for a scheme change. Yeah? So in this scheme change, basically they, uh, uh, they, they are paying for, ha for having autonomy. And we see in this, uh, we find in, in for this outcome that those who did their preferred task are more willing to pay the fee. Uh, we also find that um, the, the highest take up, uh, uh, it, yeah, that the highest uh, take up uh, is for those that uh, were in the by choice mechanism, that are the people who have autonomy. So when we test uh, these results uh, with a regression analysis, we find uh, that there is a clear result for uh, those uh, uh, people in the imposed mechanism. And we find also that uh, those who are more interested in paying for playing alone are those uh, in the by choice mechanism. So, so far we have uh, two main results. Uh, the first one is that people randomly assigned to be autonomous are more willing to pay to move to an individual scheme. And we interpret uh, this result as an interest in retaining control and not, not in an interest in win control. And the second one is that not having autonomy has an effect in opposite directions. Uh, so basically being assigned to, a, to the preferred task improves performance and being assigned to a non-preferred task decreases performance. Uh, so in the previous slides, uh, I, was, uh, I was talking about the results in the pool sample and now I, I'm gonna show you uh, the results for the worker sample. So here you can see again the cumulative distribution of the performance, but now um, I, I, I split the samples between employees and self-employed people. And the result that we uh, saw for those in the imposed mechanism remains here, but uh, the gap in performance increased for self-employed participants. So this is uh, our third main result in, in this paper. And again, when we uh, test uh, these results with, with a regression analysis, we find that uh, the, the result for those imposed that uh, did an unpreferred task uh, is significant and the size of the estimator is bigger than the one uh, I showed you uh, before. So, 
To conclude, uh, we find that even when earnings depend on individual productivity, people's preference about procedures and tasks affect the way they perform, perform and behave. So it is not only about the payoff, it is only about how they achieve this payoff. Thanks.